Hi guys, Handyman Kevin here. Welcome back to the show. This season we've been trying to focus more on workshop skills, and one of the most important workshop skills is building your own jigs. You often don't have a specialized tool to do a particular job, but with a little ingenuity you can build a jig that will let you do it on a basic power tool. For example, the other day I was doing some metalworking, and I needed to socket a piece of pipe into a hole. Sounds simple, except that the pipe was bigger than my largest drill bit. Now, I could have ground down the end of the pipe by hand, but it was a precision job, and I was afraid it wouldn't stay circular and straight. Instead, I built what was essentially a new power tool to grind the ends of the pipe. And it does a pretty good job. I'm going to show you how to build that jig, not because I think you'll necessarily have the same problem, but because if I work through the steps, it will give you some ideas for your own jigs. So let's get going. I started by finding a piece of pipe that had approximately the same diameter as the outside diameter of the pipe I needed to grind. I don't have a pipe vise, so I ground some flats on the end of the pipe so my machinist vise would grip it securely. Next, I used a hand ream to smooth the bore of the pipe and enlarge it so it was just a couple thousandths of an inch bigger than the finished diameter of the tenon I was trying to cut. The ream I'm using is made for bicycle seat tubes, but I use it for all sorts of jobs. Be sure to use plenty of cutting oil and take many light cuts. To hold the pipe onto the jig, I made a bracket out of a strap I broke off an electrical junction box. I used the table saw to cut the V-shaped notch where the jig hits the pipe. I also used the saw to round the corners on the upper piece of wood and to rough out the hinge. You could do all this with a hand saw, a table saw is just faster. With a little chisel cleanup, you should have a nice tight hinge. I drilled a hole and inserted a hinge bolt. Then I went ahead and attached the pipe. I attached the grinder to the jig with some 12 gauge electrical wire.
This screw will adjust the depth of cut. I decided to make the screw fancy though, so I turned it into a wing screw. I learned this particular technique from an acquaintance who makes his own tattoo equipment. You start out with a screw and a wing nut. The screw head should be just a little wider than the inside of the wing nut. I haven't shown you how to build a lathe yet, so we'll turn the screw to the diameter of the wing nut threads with my electric drill. Then, I used a die to cut the threads on the screw head. A little bit of silver solder makes it permanent. I also put a wide headed screw in the upper piece of wood so the end of the adjustment screw wouldn't dig in. Here's the finished jig, ready to clamp in my vise. And you can see that when it's done it works pretty well. You just slowly turn the pipe as it slides into the socket. Once I had the depth setting right, it only took a few minutes to cut tenons on four pipes. I hope this jig gave you some good ideas. I'll be using it next week when I show you how to build a lathe out of junk. I'll see you then.